Good evening, this is Daniel Spiro with videos that are short, upbeat, and focused on making your life easier. Tonight is about an easy way to see life clearly, no matter what, but more importantly, it's about you being in that place of power, always. So let's dive in. Verbal, written, or on the screen, we all love a good story. In fact, we love them so much that we tell them to ourselves, but not for entertainment. A woman tells herself that her relationship is solid, that they're deeply in love, soulmates, and that his increasing distance is really just stress from work. A man tells himself that his boss is just going through a difficult time, especially now with their industry's downslide. Although the boss keeps treating him distantly, impersonally, the man continues to tell himself that his job is secure, that he's needed for the company's success. How often do people tell themselves a story? That noise in the car is probably nothing. The roof, I'm sure it'll last through winter. Chest pains, no, they weren't serious. Self-stories are all about protecting ourselves from unpleasant truths. The alternative is, of course, painful self-honesty. The problem is that our stories are so much a part of us, it can be difficult to realize when we're telling ourselves one. More importantly, and this is what I wish I'd known decades ago, when we agree with reality, we have no need to put it into words. The only time we self-story is when we need to believe, have to believe that our desires, pretty please, are really what's up. Now, there is a way we can open our eyes wide, but why would we? when the cocoon of denial is so soft, warm, and comforting. Accepting the distasteful keeps us from being caught short, caught by surprise, or caught devastated, and it puts us in that enviable position of strength, of power. It puts us in that place from which we can think, decide, and act. So how to see clearly no matter what? Three simple steps. Begin watching for and writing down your self-explanations. Again, there's no need for a string of words about how things are when we're agreeing with an agreeable life. Once written, take the next part slowly, gently. You're not going to like whatever it is. It's going to be hard or hurt in some way. So be gentle with yourself. Or you might just about face back into that warmth. With your words in front of you, tell yourself that it's not the truth. Over time, tell yourself again and again as you edge toward clarity. When you're ready, take a deep breath and write what you don't want to write. Write what needs to be written. By easing herself into some tough, simple honesty, the woman above, rather than dragging out a failing relationship, can free herself to find the right guy. The man can ask his boss directly, find he is to be terminated, and begin a job search today. And having the car, the roof, and those chest pains diagnosed is better than not. Always. If you liked this video, found the information supportive, will you do me a favor? Take a moment and support this channel. Click the like and subscribe buttons. Tell a friend or two with the share button below. And leave a comment too. Your encouragement, suggestions, or criticism are always appreciated. And thanks. Now, your next video is about three innocent words that are as impenetrable as the thickest steel. It's a phrase so strong that it it's probably hurting you right now. Look for it this Tuesday evening at 8 Pacific Time. I'll leave you now with some good quotes and thanks for spending this time with me.